Hey everyone, how are we? Welcome back. Another day, another vlog. Another day, another vlog. It is again. Here we go. Big day today, Yankees. Let's go baseball, straight into the baseball playoffs. Yankees, uh, after a horror game yesterday, finally found some legs and come back for the victory. Oh, I've got any hat. How terrible. Um, yeah, four run first, two two bombs. Um, Aaron Hicks hit a three run and LeMay hit a solo. So that's what they needed and that was off Verlander. Verlander then bounced back and threw scoreless, seven scoreless innings till the eighth innings. Just, dude's just a full respect to him. That is so hard. You get smashed for four runs in the first for you to come back, get mentally tough, and then shut them down for seven innings. Um, yeah. Only way they stayed in the game was him doing that. Uh, and they they just couldn't hit. I think what was outstanding was the Yankees pitcher, lefty. Oh, what was his name? Oh, forgive me. Um, pitched a blinder. Great slider. Worked hard, worked that slider hard, good locations. Really, some really tough big outs in key situations. I think runner on first, lead off, uh, then gets three straight outs to shut them down. Um, yeah, did a really, really good job. Guys like Altuve and Carrera and that, just just really, really pegged them down. Um, so yeah, and, and they got one run in the first, so that was, all they got. So it was like a really, really, really good game to watch. Both pitchers just put on outstanding performances. And it was just that first dig um, that pretty much decided it. So we go game six tomorrow. Uh, they got fly overnight to Houston. So it's in Houston uh, for the game six. So very exciting. Changes the aspect a little because the Yankees are now got that taste of blood. Sanchez still not hitting, but a few of the guys hitting. Stamp was back in the lineup, a couple of grand balls. He's been out for a bit. He only needs to get on one little groove, and it's and it could change the game. If he starts hitting things 600 feet, well, then look out. The Yankees could be a real threat. So, yeah, whew, tough. In Houston, uh, I'm assuming it's going to be Morton. will be throwing for Houston. They'll be going with, they'll be going with everyone they've got. To win that game, they won't want to go to a game seven. A, because if they go to the game seven, they give the Yankees two games of confidence. Uh, they're going to be tough to beat. And then also, they need a rest day for their guys to bounce back to go up against Washington, who is sitting there just watching all this and doing stats, cast and training and get and fresh as Daisy. So they're... They, they really, I'm assuming they really want to get it over and done with tomorrow to get that, that rest day to give itself come into the World Series fresh. So, going to be a huge game tomorrow. Hope you're watching. Um, I'll just find out for you, actually, where... What time it starts. My apologies. I should have got all this. Um, now, well, while I'm finding that out, the let me know in the comments below. I've been using this... Uh, Foles universal anamorphic lens on the on the iPhone to the, for all this week um, for the for the daily vlogs. What do you reckon? Can you notice the difference? Maybe go back to before I had the break and have a look at that, look at one of those, and then come back and look at one of this week's. Let me know if you reckon it's better. I actually think it does. It, it get, should squash that image down and give a little make a little bit lot more of a wider screen. I know I can fit more in because I'm only in a small space and literally my phone's an arm length away from me and I can fit in pretty much all this, including the team shirt in. So really, really cool. Um, I'm actually like, this now is only like $40. So I've got the link in our description below in our gear. If you want to try one for your phone, um, you obviously can see the flaring in it. Just see if that one's probably a bit better to... That flare in there, you can see that. So that's a nice little blue flare you can get off the lights. So it's pretty cool, the old anamorphic. 
I've put the link down below. You can get on. They're still on eBay. They're still for sale. I think they're about forty dollars Australian, which is pretty cool. Um, some are like if you haven't tried one out and you want to see what all the fuss is about with anamorphic, um, and that's what I got it for because your moment ones are like two fifty bucks, two hundred fifty bucks. Uh, there's a couple others, but they're all around the two two hundred plus dollars. Uh, mark, which is like you really gotta want to know that it's going to work before you touch that. So this is a great option for you to just to test it and see see if it's really what you need. I think it actually gives you a good. It may not have like per se the best image, but it, it, it's a darn good example and give you a mindset of what you you can sort of achieve using one of these lenses on there. So yeah, definitely get it. As I said, there's a link down below. You can click on that, go to eBay. It'll take you straight to it, uh, the, where I got them from. I had no dramas getting it here. Delivered on time. The great bunch of guys that delivered it. So uh, no, again, no dramas. eBay is always fantastic, so it's really good. And always the best price too, better than Amazon. So definitely worth checking it out. Um, if you want to have a look at that anamorphic for your mobile, if you're doing any photos or videos or like, you know, to a wedding or something, anamorphic would look really cool at a wedding with all the lights and stuff or something like that or a night out. It actually will make a huge difference. Now, tomorrow, game game six will be eight. So it'll be around about eight, nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Game six will be starting. And then the same for... Oh. And then Tuesday is the World Series. Um, oh sorry, Wednesday will be the World Series for us. Wednesday morning. So yeah, we've got game six tomorrow, about eight, nine o'clock in the morning, and then same time on Wednesday for the game. If if they lose tomorrow, the Yankees, then we'll go to Wednesday. If not, we'll go to the next day. So yeah, huge day for the Yankees. Um, good to see them actually get some hits, I guess. It's sort of... You get your, these guys have busted their butts all year, 162 games, plus pre, a month of preseason, 30 odd games, so 190 three to four hour games, plus warm ups and all that. It's from a guy who played 20, maybe, I think at peak in Adelaide, I, was, I think we did about 40 games in the season. That, that takes a toll on your body. These guys have put in all year to get to the playoffs and then just not hit it must it just must be really heartbreaking for them so at least it's and and to have it them come back it makes it more exciting which is really good and i think that was one thing i guess as a cardinal was probably the most disappointing sometimes you, you just whatever you do you, you're going to lose and, and losing's part of part of the challenge but just not being able to even have that fight in you just not be able to hit no matter what you do you just can't even get a get a teeth in get your teeth into the stake sort of that's the bit you don't want so and I feel for the guys the Cardinals in that regards that must be really heartbreaking for those guys uh, but yeah so it was good to see the Yankees just come bounce back and show a bit of bit of guts and a bit of fight so it was cool now um, tech news we're going to go to the motor roller Confirmed November 13th for this bad boy. We're going back to the classics. Um, flip phones, anamorphics in, flip phones in, vintage lenses in, which I've, I've got a couple next next break I've have. Um, we're seeing a bit of a re recurrence. I guess it's sort of middle us middle-aged people. That's me, I guess now, unfortunately. I don't feel middle-aged, but I am. Not mentally, anyway. But uh, I guess going back to a bit of a youth and enjoying it. And the Motor Ro Motorola Razor is going to give it released on next month on the 13th. Strange to go on the 13th. Probably a funny date. But it looks pretty good. If it's anything like this, like we all know, or maybe not, I'll rephrase that. Us guys that are old enough, we, we all went through all these. Uh, the Motorola was a good phone then. Um, you had the Nokia's, you had the Eric, Sony Ericsson's, which I had, I didn't like Nokia's. Um, you had these, the flip phones, did everything, but now full touch screen on there, little flip phone, and the convenience of having something small, you don't have to worry about a big phone in your pocket or a thing, clothes, so 
can't get scratched or damaged like you can with your face. So it does have a hell of a lot of advantages. Motorola struggled for many a year. This could be their chance to get back and come back into the phone scene. Um, you never know. I think this is going to be really popular with, dare I say it, us middle-aged guys and the older generation. And I think some of the kids have never got to go uh, have a flip phone. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what the price is. I'm not sure on the prices. It's got release date prices here. Let's see. Oh. Wow. They're saying 1500 US. That's going to scare some people. Um, yeah. I don't think... I think they're hitting the wrong mark if it's 1500 it's great to get a flexible screen, but even if you did two touch screens without the flex, with just like a, a nice hydraulic pivot, uh, yeah, it'd probably be a better idea because 1500 US that's two nearly two and a half thousand Australian for a little Motorola that's got no app store. It's, I'm assuming Motorola's gonna lose all their functionality, so it's gonna be Android, so you're only catering to half the planet or two-thirds of the planet, whatever, whoever you listen to, so, mm, interesting, but yeah, so, like, that looks, at least it sounds really good, it's coming out, they're confident to release it, so that's good, after the f fiasco with Samsung Fold, and that disaster, and that sort of died super quick since its release, we're not hearing anything else about it anymore, so it's, mm, sounds like it was just all one big gimmick that didn't, didn't really work, so, Let's see what Motorola can do. Now, the next ones we have, we want to talk about new, speaking of phones, is the Pixel 4. Two big disasters, Pixel 4 and the Samsung S10. Massive stuff ups. Uh, I'll go Samsung first because at least they've got a fixed plan for it. The S10, the fingerprint unlock on the front of the phone come through. You've got that underscreen fingerprint. <laughs> it's been found out, the tech guys have found out, if it's got a screen on it, or you've got a latex glove on it, or you can you can open anyone's phone. Anyone's phone. And get full access. You don't need their fingerprint. If they put a, a screen cover on, which I've got on my iPhone to protect the phone from scratches and damage and shattering, um, as soon as that goes on, anyone, if that was a Samsung, anyone could pick it up, go straight in, use my accounts, go through my banking details, everything. Total disaster. Samsung has come out and said they'll have a patch within a week. So if you have one, please keep an eye on it. If you've got a screen cover on it, I suggest you take it off for a week and baby it like nothing else because treat it like your wallet because anyone can get into it. Very scary for you Samsung guys, not good at all. Terrible, terrible stuff up. They'd better get this fixed out real quick because that's gonna piss off a lot of people worldwide. Um, not good for a flagship phone. Even worse, even worse, Google Pixel 4. And these are, these are $2,000 phones too. Pixel 4 just released. Face. No, no fingerprint. We talked about this in the in the other day on the review. Um, full face unlock, same as your iPhone. Doesn't register if your eyes are open or closed. So they've already worked out that if your phone's laying next to you on the bed, your kid can pick it up, scan your face while you're sleeping, go through and order whatever they want off eBay, Amazon, Play Store, anything. Full access yet again. Google's response, and get this, uh, even Lou from uh, Unbox Therapy and Lou's Later was befuzzled as I was. Um, <laughs> it should get better. That's what Google said as their response to it. Oh, it should get better. <laughs> the world has just announced that you can walk up to anyone with Pixel 4, steal their phone, and take and open it without them even knowing and do whatever the hell you want on their phone with whatever that data or info or money or anything they've got on their phone and take it, steal it, the lot. Absolutely ridiculous. 
and what an absolute numpty, numpty response from Google to say, oh, it should get better. If they don't have something done in the first week, I think you're going to see some people returning their phones because who the hell is going to walk around with a $2,000 phone that as soon as you go to sleep, you've got to hide your phone or lock it in a safe so no one can steal your info or your money? Uh, yeah. I don't think there's going to be too many people with that. I don't think it's worth that good just to have a good photo. So, yeah. You guys out there, if you've got a Pixel 4 or a Samsung S10, the new phone, or if you ordered one, please, please be aware of this. Um, at least, again, Samsung has announced they'll have a patch in a week that will shut this down so that that won't be able to happen. They're working on ASAP. Google, no defined date. Basically, don't care. Just said should get better that's the only response we have for a multi-billion dollar stuff up so yeah huge news on that uh pretty average as you can imagine uh, i can't imagine too many people being happy with google and pixel 4 might be time to buy an iphone i think you might see a few iphone 11 pro sales shooting up uh, I know the Apple stock's going up, so yeah, look out. Anyway, that's it for another day. Big game tomorrow. Yankees, Astros, game six. Very excited. Hope it's a close one. Want to maybe, a, what about an extra innings, 12th innings, one run ball game on a bunt or a, or a ball four, or not a ball four, no, that's terrible. A bunt, runner scores, or a runner scores from second on a line drive with two out. Something like that. That's what I'd love to see. Um, something exciting. Get the passion. Get everyone on the edge of the seat screaming in the stadium. That's what it's all about. That's the playoffs. So wherever you're there, if you're lucky enough to went, go there. I actually had one of my good friends, uh, Ashley Rosenfall from Adelaide. Great mate from baseball. He was at the game today. Um, Ash, if you watch this, you're a very lucky man. Uh, very jealous. Congrats to getting to go to that. Uh, that's awesome. He got to go to a Dodgers game as well, one of the playoff games. So he's having a ball over there at the moment. I'm not sure if he's shooting down the Houston. I hope not because we're all very jealous. Uh, but, yeah, awesome to see him there. Hope he's having fun. Hope he's going out for a drink. It's Saturday night. Hope you're having a nice glass of wine, a nice champers, or you're heading out to catch up with the lads or the girls. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Uh, have a safe night. Uh, don't drink and drive, and I'll see you all tomorrow. So if you're coming, going, or staying, or sleeping, like I'm going to, I'll get some work actually done. I can't stay. I'll see you all tomorrow. See you guys.